Did you sleep well, son? I heard some strange noises last night. Ha, <laughs> it's an old chalet. Every house has its own noises. You'll get used to them. Mm. Hans is going to bring me some new hinges for the shutters. Meanwhile, this should make them a bit quieter. Are you going to the pastures with Heidi today? Yes, and I have to go or I'm going to be late. Ciao, papa. Ciao. Hiko, so how was your first night in the chalet? I heard some noises, but my, my father said it was just the house creaking. Oh, I should have warned you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> warned him about what? Uh, well, it's uh, the vo the tinger. It's already haunted the chalet. Huh? But it doesn't exist. Huh. Why do you think we don't live there anymore? Well, isn't it because your father set up his forge above the village? That explanation surely suits everyone, but have you noticed how no one has wanted to live in that chalet ever since? Hmm. Come on, Kiko. It's time to go up to the pasture. <laughs> You're right, Heidi. I should have put your charm on my door. You know William likes telling stories. It makes him feel important. Maybe, but I heard it last night, and Grandmother's seen it too. Well, if I ever see it, I'll just try to catch it. Mamma mia! <laughs> Rico, Heidi! Everything all right, kids? Yes, we're fine. Oh, Rico, you're going to sleep at Heidi's tonight because I've got to do a job in down in the valley this afternoon and tomorrow. All right? All right, Papa. Bene, but no rowdiness, eh? Couldn't we sleep in your house instead? Uh, I don't know. All right, if you're not afraid of being in the chalet alone. Hiko and I aren't afraid of anything. Are we, Hiko? Uh, no, we'll pull the ears of that weird rabbit thing. <laughs> well, that's a fine, then, if Ernst agrees. Yes, I'll go and give them a kiss before they go to sleep. Well, that's agreed, then. <laughs> Come on, off we go, my beauties. 